Hey guys, Yorkshire Biker here. Uh, and as you can see, I'm back on the bike. And uh, well, it's probably a few weeks earlier than uh, the doctors would like me to be. But I got sick of having to rely on my mum and dad to take me to work and back. So uh, I've, I've braved it. Uh, and it's not too bad. So um, I'm just riding it around, getting used to it again. Uh, it's surprising after only having about a week or about two weeks off of the bike um, how weird it feels to get back on it it's, uh, it's a weird feeling yeah so uh, I decided to ride to work and back on it the other day um, quite comfortable a little bit of discomfort but no that I can't put up with I found it alright so then I uh, had a little bit of a ride out Hiya guys, Yorkshire Biker here, uh, and as you can see I'm back on the bike after uh, almost chopping my thumb off. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's probably a couple of weeks or a few weeks earlier than what the doctors would have liked me to be. It's probably a couple of weeks um, earlier than the doctors had have, uh, advised me to be, uh, but I can't put up with having to rely on people to take it home from work and places. Uh, not that I don't appreciate my mum and dad taking me, I do, uh, but it's just nice to have your own freedom. Um, and my bike's pretty much the only thing um, that I get my freedom on, that's why I'm on it all the time. So yeah, I've, uh, I rode to work on it on the weekend. Um, yeah, that's right, I work on a weekend. So I rode to work and it was uh, reasonably okay. So I thought, I'll, I'll ride it a little bit more, um, just to get myself used to it again, because I could feel, even after just two weeks off at road, um, surprising how weird it feels when you get back on. So yeah, I've actually still got the thumb bandaged up. Uh, it's still got the pin in there, so I can't bend my thumb. Uh, so I'm not quite riding like I used to uh, before I did it. But at least I'm back on the bike. So uh, for th obviously for those of you that don't know what I have actually done, uh, basically I made a rookie mistake. An amateur mistake, whatever you want to call it. Now, I was cleaning the bike, uh, done it all, and then I started to clean the chain. Got all the chain cleaned and everything, spotless, uh, nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, but come to drying it off, because what I do is I clean the chain, uh, I use GT85, um, then I use a rag to dry that off before lubing the chain back up again. Now, for those of you that have probably uh, been riding a few years, I can guess what I've done. Uh, <laughs> yes, I was drying the chain with a cloth in gear and uh, and running like an idiot. Um, and the cloth snagged. Uh, it basically, it got caught on either the chain or the sprocket. I don't know which one it was. It happened too quick, um, and it's dragged me thumb into the sprocket. Absolutely annihilated the end of it. Um, broken the bone in three places uh, looks like it's damaged the nail bed um, so my nail probably won't grow back to how it used to um, and I'm going to have a big almighty scar so yeah basically what I wanted to do um, obviously I will put a picture up at the end of what my thumb looks like um, so if you're a bit squeamish when it gets to my outro um, just close the video uh, <laughs> but if you want to see it then uh, just keep watching 
So yeah, I went to the hospital, uh, it's rushed straight there, with thumb in a cloth. Not the dirty one, by the way, it was a clean one. Rushed to hospital with my thumb in a cloth. Um, they had me sat there for 45 minutes um, without any pain relief. Now, I know hospitals and that, they're pushed to the limits, I mean, I get that, but uh, when there's somebody sat there with their thumb hanging off, um, and, you, and you can see they're in quite a great deal of pain, because trust me, it is the worst pain I have ever felt. But it's kind of slowed me down on my riding. It's the worst pain I've ever felt. Um, so I won't be doing it again anytime soon. Yeah, it, uh, it took him 45 minutes uh, to get me some decent pain relief. I had some Oromorph, uh, it's actually oral morphine. My God, that stuff is good. So yeah, I can probably rub it on all day about this, um, but I just want people to know Yes, you get told not to do it. I've been told not to do it myself. Um, but, I mean, I've done it hundreds of times. And there's never been a mistake. But it just takes that once. Um, and you can lose your thumb. Luckily for me, I've not lost my thumb. Uh, it's down to quite a few factors. One of them being the size of my bike. Um, the bike actually stalled. Um, and it had kept going. My, my bike was on the paddock stand. So had it have kept going, uh, it would have probably just ripped it straight off. Uh, and probably on the end of it, because of the size of the bone, um, it, they, they have actually managed to sort of fix it. Uh, I've got Obviously I've got a pin straight through my thumb now. Um, So yeah, that's it for today guys, thanks for watching, uh, it's just a quick one as I say, uh, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, rake the shit out of that thumbs up button, and uh, until next time, peace!